Hey guys, it's Owen here from Otec, and today we're going to unbox the colorful GTX 1070 iGame Edition. So, if you look at the box, it's obvious that it's a really huge box, and it has a kind of like a glossy textured finish, which actually looks kind of nice. And the graphics in front is basically like some Chinese characters and a dude in armor so let's like take a look at the back it's just a bunch of paragraphs about how this is good and philosophy and stuff I'm not so sure what where power color sorry where colorful is going with this yeah so it's just some marketing it doesn't even show the card itself or nor does it even say the features of the card so let's just get on with it and take a look inside. So the box is huge inside and it's a black box which is unlike any cheap card and this isn't a cheap card so that's good and when you open it yeah I mean you get this really nice foam instead of the just usual cardboard or some padded cardboard and some bubble wrap you actually get foam and custom cut foam too so yeah this is actually a really nice package for this card and this is actually the, che the cheapest GTX 1070 I can get in Indonesia so this is kind of surprising and yet really cool so this is the registration card I am assuming and here is the operation guide and I've read through this and there's the English side in front and surprisingly there isn't too much grammatical error like usual oh and don't use the driver from the CD like always just download the latest one from the NVIDIA website and I am not sure what is this for but I think it's some kind of a game invitation but yeah now power color also give some extra accessories with this card so let's take a look so there's these gloves which I'm assuming I assume is for handling the, the card itself and building your PC which is a nice touch and they also give us this screwdriver Swiss Army knife kit thing so yeah it's kind of pretty cool and you get the pouch too just a bonus but yeah, now let's take a look at the card itself. Overall, this has been a, a pretty good first impression of the card. And when I hold this card right now, I can already tell you that this, this card feels really, really heavy. Like it has a huge cooler on top of it. And it's basically all metal. The only plastic parts are this and the logo. The rest is all metal, even the back and the shroud itself too so taking a look at the card what's striking to me is that this card has dual 8 pins which to me is kind of overkill for Pascal especially because you can't unlock the voltage so you can't really overvolt it and speaking of that this card actually has a really overkill VRM from what I've seen in reviews of other sites so this shouldn't blow up or anything it should be strong but yeah the front of the card it has a triple fan cooler design with a fin stack over here and a second one over here connected by four heat heat pipes it seems uh, I'm sorry there's three heat pipes connecting it to this to this to this heatsink and also another heat pipe that loops back to this heatsink and it has a base plate that covers the memory as well and also the VRM is also cooled directly by the main cooler itself so that's a nice touch and it should help lower temps overall now the backplate itself is actually a really nice looking one and it's kind of surprising to see as this is a like I said the cheapest 1070 I could get but yeah there must be one caveat and we'll see that in the review so this part I assume will light up red and this part will also light up red and there's the usual SLI fingers so it's compatible with the new HB bridge of course 
and for the card itself on the bottom there's the PCI Express 3.0 x16 slot now for the I.O. there's the DVI slot the display port HD display port I guess HDMI and a display port and you might think what is this button now it says here there's the turbo and normal button so I'm guessing it's some kind of a different BIOS but I'm not too sure I have to try it out first but yeah anyways taking a look at the card again this looks this looks like a really nice card overall and it feels really good and feels really premium but we'll have to see the performance in the review itself so yeah thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you want to see more and yeah that's about it